In this video, I'm going to do uh, an example of dif implicit differentiation. Uh, now, this is the question. Find dy by dx for the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Now, you should be knowing that this is the equation of a circle. Okay, and uh, okay, centered at 0, 0 and radius of 5. So, that's not important. So, we want to do implicit differentiation. This is, seems to be difficult, but... If you understand the logic, it's very pretty easy. So yeah, let me write the equation again. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. And I'm going to use the the derivative operator, okay, which is d by dx to each of the terms. So I'll say, well, this is d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared is equal to d by dx of 25. Now, d by dx is nothing but the, the derivative. So, I'm asking now the question, what is the derivative of x squared? Uh, or what's the change in x squared? In other words, what's the change in x squared or an infinitesimally small change in x? That's the question here. So, well... You know d by dx or the derivative of 2x squared is 2x. Okay, that's fine. But when it comes here, you are asking the question, what's the change in y squared for the small change in x? Okay, so there, uh, I'll write first the answer and then I'll explain how I got this. So, basically you do, you differentiate this as if you're differentiating x squared. So we'll say, what is the derivative of y squared uh, with respect to y, okay? Or you simply consider what is the derivative of y squared, as if you're treating this as x squared. So you say 2y times, then you have to write dy by dx. Okay, now this is confusing. How did I get this and how did I get this? Because here you're differentiating with respect to x. Okay, so and here the question is, what's the change in 25? when there is a uh, infinitesimally small change in x so this is a constant so this doesn't change so we we'll say okay there is no change that is zero now i'll explain this step separately yeah so we're going to say let uh, u is equal to y squared okay so so you will say okay what is d du now we are differentiating with respect to y. Okay, so we'll say what is d by dy of uh, u is equal to d by dy of y squared. So well, d by d d by dy of u is du by du by du by dy is equal to, and what's the change as d by dx of x squared is 2x, d by dy of y squared would be 2y. Okay. Now, this is the next part which is important. Now, can I say uh, d, uh, so this, um, so this will become, can I say that d u by dy is equal to du by dy or d let me write this let du by dx is equal to du by dy times dy by dx now this is only an operator this is only an operator so so we are saying du by dx is du by dy times dy so this and this will get cancelled this is only a differential, okay? Or this is a very small number, and this is also a very small number. So this and this will get cancelled. So what remains is du by dx. So let me delete this first. So yeah, let me do it again. So can I say this is d? Okay, so we can say this is 2x plus du, because we are letting, we, we let y, y squared is u, so I can say du by dx 
is equal to 0. So, this is 2x plus, so what is du by dx? It is du by, so I will rewrite this, this is du by dy times <coughs> dy by dx is equal to 0. I will return from here. Yeah. So, this becomes 2x plus, now what is du by dy? du by dy is, du by dy is 2y. So, we say 2y times dy by dx is equal to 0. Okay. So, we are almost there. So, we can say 2y times dy by dx is equal to minus 2x. So, if we divide both sides by 2y, so dy by dx is equal to minus 2x over 2y. So, we can say dy by dx is nothing but minus minus x over y. Okay, so this is your answer. So, the gradient function of this equation is minus x over y. In fact, if you have any circle which is centered at 0, 0, the equation will be like this. This number will keep changing. Okay, So, the dy by dx of any equation of a circle which is centered at 0, 0 would be minus x over y.